Hey, good morning, folks. It is May 21st, and we are in Spain for the Bad Monkey Touring Pyrenee Picos Tour 2019. Uh, we stayed in Barcelona last night uh, where the boys picked up their bikes from IMT Bikes. Thanks, guys, for hooking my guys up with brand new 1250s. And we're all together now. We've got myself, Andrew came over from the US, Jeff came up from Dubai, Aziz came up from Dubai, Rob and Erwin came down from the Netherlands, Otto came from Kuwait, Angus rode down on his Heritage Softail Classic from Cornwall, and Sergey came from Dubai. So we are anticipating some fantastic riding. The weather is great today. Coolness in the air, uh, which is really nice. It's better than being hot. With the heat, it really uh, kills my allergies. But uh, when it's cool like this, not too bad. The pollen index is supposed to be quite high. We're heading up into the mountains now in the direction of uh, Andorra pick up the N260 over to Betrin where we will stay for the evening so I won't bore you with any video right now while we're working our way up that way but I just wanted to check in welcome you to the series and we really hope you enjoy it so stay with us Yeah, we got up into the mountains now and we're in the twisties uh, some really nice roads beautiful valley off to the side but uh, we're up where we can't see it right now but now we are winding our way up to C59 really nice beautiful scenery perfect weather good bunch of guys not much you can ask for amazing day thank you thank you Richie Vita for recommending Spain and putting all those great videos on your channel Wild Bad Touring because it is because of you that uh, we chose this to come here. And we have only gotten started. We haven't even got into the good stuff yet. Now you can see the snow-capped peaks over there. Dropped to 14 and a half degrees. Should see a high of 17 today. At least where we're going. This is my first uh, video on the bike with my GoPro Hero 7 mounted on top of my helmet. I didn't intend to do it this way, uh, but like an idiot that I am, I left my drift goes 4k at home so luckily I was able to go down to Fnac in uh, Nice France which is an electronic store and they sold a um, helmet mount kit which only worked on the uh, the side or the top I didn't like the way it, it looked on the side so I don't really like it on top but uh, it's up there and Hopefully it's uh, providing some good video. I'll check it later. We just passed through the village of Moya, M-O-I-A, and we're still on the C-59. It is a beautiful road, and I almost think that we're going to have better than this even. Oh, look at that. It's a hospital and a restaurant. Yeah, it's closed up though. Yeah, in about uh, 20 minutes, we're going to stop for coffee, regroup, use the bathroom, 
Then we're going to try to make lunch around noon. But so far, this is freaking awesome. Look at these roads. Oh man, I love it. This is what we came for. Fantastic. Look at this. Is this gorgeous or what? Beautiful. Yeah, I had to take a few minutes there to uh, activate my Relive app, which is a really cool app for cyclists, hikers, uh, just about anybody that wants to uh, record their trip. It'll record everything along the map. It'll set out the highlights. Uh, you can take photos along the way, and it will uh, put the photos into the location where they're taken on the map. And uh, it's so cool, but I always forget to turn it on. So I just thought about it as I was driving through that last village. And uh, so I had to reach down and get it turned on. So it's tracking now. Everything is working good. I'm real happy with the GoPro on top of the helmet. And I've got the voice activated, voice commands uh, on, which means I can turn it on and off uh, by voice, which is much better than the drift. Uh, be honest with you, I might scrap the drift. Uh, um, maybe I'll sell it to someone because, you know, the GoPro has the better footage. No doubt about that. Quality, uh, I mean. And uh, even with it being 4K, I just find that, and I'm shooting today in 2.7 um, because it, the Hero 7 burns up the battery. So. You know, 4K is done really. It's not a huge difference if you're not playing it on a 4K TV. So tell me what you think in the comment section below uh, if you like the uh, quality of the footage. These roads are fantastic. C59. What a good pick I did on this one. I have to give myself some credit there. I'm not sure uh, if Richie had, because uh, he comes down from the north and uh, picks it up there. So I don't know if he's been down here on this end. If not, Rich, get down here and try this out. It's just some beautiful countryside, major twisties, pretty good tarmac. C670.
think everybody's pulled in. Well, we missed our turn back there, so uh, we're just going along uh, this route here, which uh, is a C16, for about five more kilometers, and then we should be able to pick up back where we're supposed to be. But that's part of the fun of it, if you uh, miss your turn. Because we came through a tunnel and the GPS was lagging. So when I came out of the tunnel, I was supposed to turn immediately and it said 300 more meters. Oh, look at the castle up there. Then an old, uh, old church or something. I only see three guys behind me. I hope the rest of the guys are... Okay, I've got four guys behind me. I'm five, so I'm missing four. As soon as we get up here to where we turn, uh, we'll hold off and wait for them. But even still, this is a beautiful road. This is the road to Puig Cerda. Look at that, beautiful. Hopefully they didn't follow the turn and they stayed following us because I believe they were close enough behind us to be able to see us. Yeah, snow on the mountains up there. Yeah, we just pulled over to wait and the boys caught up. They weren't far behind. They got caught behind a bus. But uh, look at this little village that we're in here. This place is gorgeous. Unbelievable. Fantastic. Otto's in the front for a change. What's up, Otto? stay up front for a little bit. He's having a good time. Man, another great road. You should see it on the on the uh, GPS. It's just turn after turn after turn. This is the B402 to Repol. Sometimes the roads that you find when you get lost are the best roads. GI 402 for three and a half more kilometers. We are on the fantastic, famous N260. I don't know if I mentioned, but uh, I'm riding a 2018 uh, BMW K16 GTL. It's a really nice bike. Very smooth. Uh, I have a uh, 2012 1600 GT, which I love. Uh, but I do have to say, this bike is uh, pretty impressive. 
one of the differences I believe between the GT and the GTL is the top box. I have a top box, so in essence mine's sort of like a GTL anyway. But loving the bike, beautiful, very comfortable on it. It's much like riding mine. I brought my Airhawk seat, which makes it nice. It's a fantastic touring bike. Now we need to start looking for some fuel for uh, Sergey. Maybe something will come up shortly. Oh man, that is beautiful. We just stopped for some gas and now we are going about two kilometers up the road to the Hotel San Antonio where we're going to have lunch. That's a little bit of droplets falling but I don't think it's enough yet to put the wets on. At least I'm hoping. Look at the water coming out of that mill. Oh wow. The restaurant is up here. 